significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio is Erica Burnett, President and CEO of A Single Suggestion, and she is a creative designer. Erica, welcome to the show. How are you today? I'm great. great. I'm great. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Sure. It's a pleasure. You know, every one of our shows has a theme. And the theme for today is pursuing entrepreneurship while you have a full-time job. And you have done that successfully. And I think that's a significant story that our listeners and viewers would love to know. So I'm hoping that you'll share some of those tips and lessons that you've learned today. Oh, sure. I'll be glad to share. Good, good. Well, just to start off with, we've got some examples of your work. And I am very proud to say that I'm one of your customers. <laughs> <laughs> so the audience may see that, um, you know, one of the things that Erica does is you can sort of give her an idea of what you'd like, and then she will, based on her creativity, design a card um, for you. So because I have different business segments, I have a card for my radio show, for my business coaching program, for my book that I created that highlights some of my struggles and successes, and also for some other projects. So thank you so much for allowing me to be a customer and see some of your work. Oh, thank you so much for your support. I truly mm -hmm. appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love doing custom work. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. It, it is, it is really cool. And on your website, a singlesuggestion.com, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Um, uh -huh. You have lots of examples, and it seems that there are some common themes of the thank you cards. Mm -hmm. And then you also have a line for men. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that before we jump into that. Why a line of cards for men? And that's my favorite line, mm -hmm. favorite line. Um, you know, when I started the business, a single suggestion, I started to run into a lot of businessmen. Mm -hmm. And um, I just started to look at their fashions and things like that. I said, wouldn't it be great to have something just for the men? Because out there on the market, there's not many cards like stationary for men. You might have happy birthday for the husband or mm -hmm. the uncle or something like that. But there's nothing specific to men. So I said, it would be great to try to kind of create something that you know specifically for businessmen that you know they can receive from a loved one it could be a wife a girlfriend it could be a mom a cousin or anyone so I thought it would be nice to have something just for them so they feel special hmm. and do you thought how how has your client base responded to that so you came up with an idea which is part of business yes. but then the test is whether or not the public says thumbs up or thumbs down? Absolutely. It's been rough. It's been rough. I've mm -hmm. gotten a lot of great reaction. I'm just still looking for the sales to come <laughs> through the door. Everyone loves the idea. They love mm -hmm. the product. And I have had some sales. I'm just looking for, you know, the increase in sales for the product like that. Mm -hmm. So there may be some changes I may need to make around possibly the design or even my marketing. Maybe mm -hmm. I need to market them a little differently. So I'm still working on that. Well, that's actually a great segue, again, into the topic of today. Being a full-time employee and being an entrepreneur, pursuing something that you love, and then putting product out and services out on the market, and sometimes learning what works and what doesn't work. Take us back to you know, why you even started pursuing making cards. Well, it's creativity has always been a favorite of mine. I've always done it for years, 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 and then. But um, I happened to go to a networking event for women, and I was invited by my cousin, and this was three years ago. And she said to me, bring your cards. This will be wonderful for you know everyone to see what you do and all that stuff. So I go, and everyone is just floored by the cards, the creativity, and they told me I should have been in business a long time ago. Okay. So I got plenty of help. I got people giving me information on business, creating a website, who I should talk to, what resources I should use. And it just took off from there, and that's how I knew it was just meant to be, and this is something I should have been doing a long time ago. 
Mm. So does that mean that a long time ago you were creating cards and maybe giving them away or creating cards and not really being sure mm -hmm. that this was enough or good enough? Mm -hmm. I never even thought about business. Mm -hmm. Today, if you would have asked me like maybe three to four years ago, you ever think about um, a business? And I would say, no, that's okay. I'm good. Ah, I hear that shy. <laughs> right. right. I'm still right. shy, but okay. um, I... Um, it's just, I wasn't, it's not that I wasn't sure because I absolutely loved everything that I did, even when I just gave it away for, you know, mm -hmm. friends, families, invitations, things like that. Um, it's just that I never thought about it. I had such fun just doing it for other people. I, the thought never crossed my mind. Hmm. What makes you now feel that you're an entrepreneur, that you're a businesswoman? Um, the stationary world is a huge world. And, um, but there's a market for what I do. Um, I don't see, and it's not to pat myself on the back, I just don't see the style that I have on the market for cards um, specifically. Um, there are people out there that I've met who are crafting cards, but I don't see like the advertisement for handcrafted, one-of-a-kind stationery. So to me, that lets me know that, not that I'm the only one in the field, that there's a need for it in the field, mm -hmm. um, especially personalization, because that's what I think of it. It's personalized, so it's customized specific. So everyone gets their own card made specifically for them that no one else has. So that's how I knew there's, there's a market out there for me, mm -hmm. yeah. Talk to me a little bit about, or share with me a little bit about the fact that you do work this full-time job. Many people are afraid to leave their full-time job mm -hmm. and or are afraid that if the full-time job knows that I'm doing something on the side, that's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you balance that? It's rough. It's, it's rough. The people at my job, they know I have this business, which is which is amazing, and they also support me as well. Mm. Um, I've had people take a look at the website, they've made purchases, and they continue to make purchases, so they're, they're very, very supportive, which I find amazing, which I'm sure, and I've heard stories that not everyone has the same relationship where they are. Mm -hmm. um, it's tough, you know, you work the nine to five, then you come home and you work another <laughs> set of hours mm -hmm. on your own business mm -hmm. and it's it gets to be it overlaps and it gets to be a little difficult but when you're passionate about what you do it's not work so when I go home it's, it's still like I'm playing like I'm just okay. creating okay. just to give this to someone so mm -hmm. it's still the same way I feel so peaceful and so happy when I'm when I get home I look forward to doing this mm -hmm. so this is what I do when I get home great. if I don't have other things to do great so yeah Many entrepreneurs struggle mm -hmm. with sort of doing all the work mm -hmm. and then balancing that with the business part of business, which is making sure the public knows about it, collecting the money, having systems and processes in place um, so that they have the right customers. How did you find that mix over the last three years? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Um, through various things, like some people have given me information and teach me how to use certain software, how mm -hmm. to use certain products, um, mm -hmm. where to go to get the information. I've attended workshops on various things for social media, and a lot mm -hmm. of things I pick up naturally, like um, for Facebook, how to use it, and and um, and some people just have which is for the most part reach out to me and they just say okay I see you doing this well maybe you should add this mm -hmm. to it or maybe you should put a different spin on it maybe you should put this on your website instead of this maybe you should change this color so it's it's a collaborative effort people have mm -hmm. are, have just been reaching out to me and just saying you're doing such a wonderful job keep going you know and I see that maybe you're lacking in this how about trying something new and doing that so it's it's for the most part it's it's me working trying to find but for the most part it's it's individuals coming to me and saying you know I I have you know you have my support I'm there for you if you need anything you know you let me know so that's how I 
That's okay. really powerful. I mean, I do a lot of reading in the entrepreneurial world, and the, now that I'm pursuing my doctorate in the academic world, which is a whole <laughs> different thing, um, everything is written uh, in a different way. But I'm not sure there's a phrase for that sort of it takes a village and being the villager open to maybe not a single suggestion, but right. several suggestions. <laughs> So I had to, had to slip that in there. It just seemed like a setup. Um, one of the terms that's often used, though, in entrepreneurship is creating an advisory board. Mm -hmm. And so, in effect, it sounds like you have informal, loving advisors that give you advice and support. Um, they advocate for you. Um, they provide resources for you, they provide advice and encouragement, and that allows you probably mm -hmm. to balance the demands of working full time and managing your business. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It relieves me a lot because if I had to do all of that and research all of that, as well as make the cards and market mm -hmm. them and all that stuff, I probably would. I shouldn't say it would be bald. My hair probably would fall out from stress and everything. <laughs> and your hair looks gorgeous. So I'm, I'm glad you. that you developed the system Thank of you. the advisory board and being open to advice. But that's a great way to put it, an advisory mm -hmm. board. And mm -hmm. I never thought about it that way. I just say these are loving individuals who mm -hmm. are selfless and have mm -hmm. been um, very, very giving towards me and mm -hmm. want to see me do better and I truly appreciate it and I still get the, the advice, you know, they want me to do better, they want me to succeed, which is a wonderful thing. I absolutely love it. It's powerful. Now there are viewers who are probably looking uh, via YouTube or something else and saying, What's something that I can take away from this interview and take action on? Mm -hmm. So for someone that is working a full-time job, mm -hmm. what's, an, what's advice that you have for them in terms of pursuing their passion and maybe dipping their toe in the entrepreneurial pond and or working with others and receiving advice? Mm -hmm. um, you definitely have to be very conscious of you know, your time. Um, because you spend that nine to five during the day. So at night you have to be very conscious of which, if you want to go to networking events to meet some people mm -hmm. that could possibly help you get to that next level, you have to decide which networking events you're going to go to so you can get the most out of them, which workshops you're going to go to. Um, and just surround yourself with supportive people who are willing to kind of, you know, help you and give you the information that you need and that will, you know, further you along to where you need to go because they're, they're definitely out there. So I would say that. And I would say, um, you know, have a plan because I am planning and, you know, building and just have a plan. Um, just don't jump out there. Um, definitely get the best advice that you possibly can and do your research and, you know, have your backup plan, you know, just in case things don't work out. But definitely think about it first, you know, mm -hmm. have lots of forethought and, and talk to people who have done it already, who have mm -hmm. taken that leap and or you know, people in business who know, maybe know a lot of people who have already taken that leap, you know, they can give you some good advice. So I would definitely, the forethought is definitely um, important. It is important. Mm -hmm. As we close, where can people access and perhaps purchase some of your custom-made, handcrafted, one-of-a-kind, <laughs> everyone may be slightly different because they are handmade cards. Um, well, they can go to www.asinglesuggestion.com and they also can visit my Instagram page mm -hmm. under A Single Suggestion. Um, every card on that page is for sale. So you can drop me a direct message and let me know what they want to purchase and, and I'll invoice them and it goes from there. Yeah, you have a very smooth process. I, I really, <laughs> you know, I, I really liked it because I often order things at 3 a.m. So I look for a website where I can kind of function. There's frequently asked questions, um, a communication system. Um, and on something like this that where I was ordering customized cards, the ability to go back and forth with you 
um, and then approve and pay that it all made sense. Oh, good. So I'm thank great. you. Thank That's you very much. That's one thing. You, I want it to be easy for mm -hmm. anyone. Mm -hmm. And I treat people like I want to be treated. So if I go to um, a, a business and spend, you know, my money, I want to know that I'm being treated fairly and I'm getting the best for my dollar and all that stuff. So I try to provide the same experience for others, you know, the way I would want to be treated. So that's very, customer service is very important to me. It shows, it shows. <laughs> thank Erica, you. Thank you so much for being on the show. I wish you continued success. And again, a single suggestion. Often it begins with a please or a thank you, and you provide the cards to help people send that message. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you to say, and thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. A single suggestion, Erica Burnett. Her cards are available at www.asinglesuggestion.com. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and join me for continued stories that are awfully, awfully significant. Significant TV significant stories, significant entrepreneurs.